Today, we live in a world where we're trying to cut all the wires just about everywhere that's mobile. Meet the Samsung Galaxy Buds True Wireless Earbuds. But before we get into the review, be sure to subscribe to the channel and also press that notification bell so that this way you will know when I upload. Also, be sure to join my Discord server. I will have all links down below. Let's start with the hardware. These are true wireless earbuds. And because they are true wireless, these might be the way you want to go because apparently we all have to wear masks and it's much easier to have to take off your mask or put it on when you're dealing with a true wireless earbud. Touch pads on both earbuds allow you to control your media. Single tap is for playing and pausing. Double tap answers calls or skips tracks. A triple tap will play the previous track. Pressing and holding will decline the call. Of course, that all depends upon which side that you choose to do that which in this case I have Google Assistant to launch on one of the sides. With the press and hold option, you have five choices to choose from. You can have the buds launch the assistant of your choice, turn on quick ambient sound, turn on the regular ambient sound, launch Spotify, or turn the volume up or down depending upon which side you choose to change. The charger features a USB Type-C port to charge the charger. It has two LED lights, both of which either turn red to indicate that it is charging or to turn green to indicate that it's fully charged. You can also wirelessly charge the charger as well. Because the Galaxy flagships from the S10 and newer support reverse wireless charging, you can use your phone to charge the Galaxy Buds if you want to. Samsung put microphones on the outside of these earbuds so that this way you could turn them on to listen to any noise that is going on around you. That's how good this noise canceling system is. To pair them to your device, go into your app store and search Galaxy Wearable. Once you have done that, now select the device that you want to pair and then follow the prompts, which there are not many at all. Once you have it paired up, Inside the Galaxy app, you can adjust the equalizer. You could go anywhere from extreme bass to extreme treble, but you probably wouldn't want to do that because these earbuds sound great with dynamic sound. And quickly, before you go into the comments and ask me if you could pair it to this or that, yes, you can pair it to your iOS device and you can also pair it to your Windows device. You also have the option to turn on the ability to read notifications out to you, which personally I find annoying. These earbuds also look amazing. These are the Aura Glow color earbuds. They also come in black, white, and yellow as well. The buds themselves are replaceable as well, so that this way if they don't fit properly in your ear, you can replace them, as are the wingtips. On the battery side, these buds lasted me for 11 hours. Great battery life overall. Charging the buds takes about a little less than two hours. On a full charge, I was also able to get over 24 hours out of the charger itself. Now real quickly onto what I don't like overall about the earbuds. And this is going to be generally more about what I don't like about true wireless earbuds and why I still prefer the LG tones over just about any true wireless earbuds. First off, these kind of itch in my ear. I don't know why, but they just kind of do. They're much easier to lose. There was a time where I went to my gym, which just recently reopened, and there was a point where I thought I had lost my earbuds. It turns out they were in my bag when I did some digging around. But what I like about the LG tones is that they just simply go around your neck and you just put them in your ear from the wire and that's it. You don't really lose them as easily as you would true wireless earbuds. And also if you lose one or the other, Samsung built in a feature where you can find your earbuds and it plays a really, really loud chirping sound until you find that earbud.
However, what I do like about these earbuds is that when you lay down to do a bench press like you see me doing here, they won't easily fall out as the LG Tones would. Anyway, that's been it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment down below what you thought about it and also be sure to like, share, and subscribe and join the Discord server as well. Until then, see ya!